What's going on, everyone? So, UCLA beats Rice. Uh, not exactly a fun uh, first half, necessarily, because of how close it got, but otherwise a very complete win. Uh, I'm not going to complain too, too much. There, there's a lot of things that need to be addressed. There's still flaws in this team, and Moore probably wasn't happy with how that first half was, but there was a lot of explosive plays. It's amazing. The defense gets a stop early, and then Hundley, on his first ever college snap, he runs 72 yards down the field. <laughs> something. It, it was just some bad defense, and in my opinion, that the way Rice set up the defense, it was pretty poor, so but with that being said, it was it was nice to see highlights like that. The, you know, UCLA did not have too many plays of 70 or more yards. Uh, they didn't have many of those last year. I think they only had one. I think that was when Prince threw it to Rosario for a throw against Colorado or something, or Arizona State last year, something like that. But otherwise, uh, there was a lot of explosiveness. Jonathan Franklin... It was like a run up the middle, and he goes all the way for a touchdown. I think the, that fast scoring uh, came back to haunt the defense a little bit. The defense was giving up plays. It was 19-17 to 17 at one point because of the fact that the defense was probably on the field too much uh, in, in the first half. And uh, that means we can't score too fast. we got to have some efficient drives where we're driving and marching down the field, wearing out the opposing defense. we got to do that a little bit more. Yeah, I think Sam McGuffey, the former Michigan guy, was kind of hurting us a little bit. He was making some plays as a receiver, the one dangerous player. Uh, I don't know. I have not seen full tape of this game because I was at work. I couldn't see it all. But uh, what I do know is that Hunley looked pretty promising on, on the ground with his legs. We knew that he was a dual-threat quarterback. We knew he could be dangerous. I thought he did a very, very good job with when, in terms of running. Uh, they, didn't, they ran mostly a spread, and they did it on the ground. And If you can do well on the ground, you can set up the pass. I like being a run-first team. Uh, Jonathan Franklin pretty much put up Heisman numbers for this game. And I know it's against Rice, and I'm not going to go bragging too much over it. Because that, two of those 70-plus yard runs were like a video game. I don't know how defensively you don't have any more guys in the box. They had everybody in coverage, and Franklin was wide open up the middle. I don't know how... I don't know how you do that, but I mean that's what Rice is, I guess. They're just not that good, and you know, uh, you know, the second quarter it was actually getting kind of scary, just kind of how close it was. Uh, the fact that UCLA threw an interception, and then luckily we returned a fumble of our own. Uh, Damon Holmes goes back for the touchdown, uh, and then the third quarter was nicely stalled. I mean the defense had, was rested. I think the defense looked a lot better this game than than typically it would have in the past. Joseph Faurier, the big touchdown on the drive that really put the game away because a, a game is never comfortable until you're up by 17 points because that's three possessions. And uh, the Bruins went for it on fourth down, and they, they did just that. Uh, and they got it with past the Faurier. It's good to see that happening. Uh, Franklin puts the exclamation mark with another touchdown. The big concern this game was the penalties, a little bit disciplined penalties. That still needs to be kinked out, and I know more. And he, he knows that. He knows he needs to address that. A lot better. I, I thought that was awful. Uh, the other thing, of course, which is obvious, is the extra points. I don't know if it's uh, Fairburn's fault for kicking it low or if it's the lineman for not blocking it, but either way, they're kicking the ball way too low, whatever they're doing. If you're going to go two out of five on extra points and they're going to get blocked, there, there's no excuses. No excuses for that whatsoever. Uh, Jeff Locke looked pretty good as a kicker, uh, as a punter, uh, as usual. I liked the fact that the receiving and when they passed the ball, um, Mazzone's been running a spread, and I think he was pretty pass-happy with Osweiler last year, quarterback for Arizona State. This time he can be a little bit more uh, rushing-wise, and they, he was able to spread out the running game very effectively, I thought. Uh, I know mostly it was all Franklin running the ball, but uh, but passing was diverse. We didn't see one receiver really dominate the passing game. And if we got balanced weapons like Devin Lucian, a little bit of uh, Joseph Farrier, a little bit of Shaq Evans, it'd be nice to just pass the ball around. It'd be good because it makes every receiver dangerous, makes every player dangerous. Uh, not a whole lot to really judge from this game overall, it's just because we were playing Rice, and I can't really brag a whole lot. But it's nice to see a running back have Heisman-like numbers for at least one week just because Franklin, I know what he can do. And, We've all known what he's capable of doing, and thank goodness he didn't do anything uh, clumsy-wise. But yeah, Hunley looked good at this game. He may have thrown a pick, but hey, we just want to see experience. We want to see a quarterback get playing time, grow, and grow throughout the season.
Got a tough game against Nebraska next week. So see you guys later.